France was already a powerhouse in the high fashion industry by the late 19th century, thanks to the establishment of iconic couturier houses. But it was during the early 1900s that the fashion scene truly blossomed. As technology advanced, Western society underwent a transformation, and this was reflected in the fashion choices of the time. The introduction of new inventions like the car made people's lives easier, and activities such as sports, dance, and tea parties became increasingly popular. Parisian fashion houses played a significant role in expanding the industry during this period. Houses like Jacques Doucet, Ruth, Jean Paquin, and Paul Poiret set the trends and pushed the boundaries of fashion. The fashion of the 1910s still retained some elements from the previous decade. Women's fashion featured puffy chests, small waists, and long dresses or skirts. The overall aesthetic was petite and romantic, with a color palette dominated by bright and dove colors like purple, pink, and peach. Lace, intricate details, and white garments were all the rage, capturing the essence of pure and innocent fashion. One of the defining moments in fashion during this era was the performance of Scheherazade by the ballet's Russes in Paris. This sparked a mania for oriental styles, leading to the emergence of asymmetrical designs. Fabrics like satin, taffeta, chiffon, and lightweight silks were preferred, while cotton was popular for summer wear. Hemlines gradually rose, and the female silhouette became straighter and flatter. The influence of the Art Deco movement began to make its mark on fashion, with couturiers incorporating its sleek and geometric designs into their creations. Felt hats, turbans, and clouds of tulle replaced the headgear styles of the previous decade. It's worth noting that the first real fashion shows were organized during this period by Jean Paquin, the first female couturier. Paquin also opened branches of her fashion house in London, Buenos Aires, and Madrid, solidifying her status as a trailblazer in the industry. Two influential fashion designers of the time were Jacques Doucet and Mariano Fortuny. Doucet was known for his pastel colors and gossamery dresses that shimmered with impressionist beauty. His designs were favored by discerning customers who appreciated his fluid lines and delicate materials. The most popular silhouette of the decade was the tunic over a long underskirt. Waistline started high, just below the bust, reminiscent of the empire or directoire styles of the early 19th century. Full, hip-length, lampshade tunics were paired with narrow, draped skirts. As the decade progressed, skirts became widest at the hips and narrowest at the ankle, leading to the infamous hobbled skirts that restricted movement. Waistlines gradually dropped to the natural waistline by the mid-1910s and remained there throughout the war years. Tunics became longer, and underskirts fuller and shorter. By 1916, calf-length dresses were all the rage. Tailored suits, known as tailors, were the go-to choice for city wear and travel. Jackets followed the lines of tunics, with raised, lightly defined waists. Fashionable women paired their tailors with striking hats, for stoles or scarves, and carried oversized matching muffs. Coats were often cocoon or kimono-shaped, wider at the shoulders and narrower at the hem. Fur coats were particularly popular. Shoes of the time featured high, slightly curved heels. With shorter skirts, stockings became a focal point, and gaiters were worn with street wear during the winter months. Tango shoes, inspired by the dance craze, featured crisscrossing straps at the ankles, adding a touch of flair to draped evening skirts. In this article, we invite you to flip through the world's first street-style photographs taken at Parisian races, such as the Longchamp Racecourse Grand Prix on the banks of the Seine River. These captivating images give us a glimpse into the fashion choices of the time and allow us to appreciate the elegance and style of French fashion from 1910 to 1920.